Hey everybody, it's week five, believe it or not. Um, wife and daughter back from their vacation, they needed a break from me. I think every coach should uh, go relax and enjoy a little bit because it's tough taking care of uh, patients like us. So anyway, they're back and it's week five. So I've been working on this scar a lot. Last time you saw me, I had a strip over there because it wasn't really healing well. You can see it's a little thicker. I've been doing a lot of soft tissue work, kind of breaking up that adhesion and going inward and pulling and pushing, but not really separating like that because that section right there is still a little bit suspect compared to the rest, you can see. And there always seems to be a little bit uh, of a slowdown with one section of the incision. And this is keeping me from getting in the water. So I'm at week five, uh, one more week. I mean, it's not bad, but the doctor doesn't let me in the water to six weeks. So I'm going to listen to that and I see him next week. So um, again, this knee replacement surgery is only temporary, just like this pass I have. And I've got it for three months, but I'm not using it much anymore. I'll save that just in case, but uh, this is temporary. I know a few of you have got other aches and pains and issues, and you might have a blue pass, and your disability will be permanent. But uh, for most of us, this will get beyond this knee. So I'm not using the cane anymore. I'm still using this uh, knee brace when I'm out a lot, just to kind of support the knee, but it's not giving out anymore, which is awesome. Using lotion to try and massage a lot of that swelling out of there. Uh, using heat now, not just ice, but ice when it really start, starts bothering me with my ankle and my calf still bothering me a little bit from that phlebitis. I'm not sure if I'll have another Doppler test or not, but I'll, I'll find out next week from the doctor. Uh, Pain-wise, these beats really helped me. I used them last time and I use them again. And I just listen to music at night to try and relax, kind of take my mind off the pain. No longer on the pill box. I've really cut back on the meds. I still have hydrocodone and I need to talk to the doctor about the plans for that at week six or after week six. And I've got another week left on the uh, blood thinner. And uh, this last thing I wanna talk about is uh, going to the dentist. So last week I had to see the dentist and working on a little cosmetic thing. No cutting, no bleeding. So I didn't have to take an antibiotic, but if you do see the dentist, uh, talk to your orthopedist. I'm sure they're gonna put you on some kind of prophylactic antibiotic. I'm allergic to a couple antibiotics, so make sure your dentist knows that. All I did was take four pills one hour prior to the procedure. I didn't do it last week because I didn't do any invasive work, but I get my teeth cleaned three times a year, so I have to get that antibiotic. Doctors and dentists don't always agree on the benefit or the necessity of that antibiotic, but listen to your orthopedist on this case. They're the boss on that. So um, you know, that infection in your mouth can end up in the knee, the hip, or the shoulder. So take the antibiotic if they, if they think you need that. Um, working on range of motion every day, strengthening every other day, and uh, it's only five weeks, so we've got a ways to go, but we can definitely ramp up the strengthening work. And uh, you know, I'm walking a lot better, motion's better, the leg's not giving out, and it's just a matter of time. Going back to work next week after I talk to the doctors, so uh, I'll talk to you guys again on week six. Thanks.